Hey everybody, T-Man again, bringing you guys another video. This will be doing my uh, review, reaction video to the Daniel Bryan retirement speech on Monday Night Raw last night. Um, I did a video after he tweeted before Raw aired about my thoughts of Daniel Bryan. Now is my video, my reaction video and review of the Daniel Bryan retirement speech. Now we know this is not a sh uh, work. It, 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 this is actually real life. And I don't think he is going to wrestle for another promotion. I think he is done. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, what did I think of the speech? Well... I thought it came from the heart. I really did. I mean, there's a lot of times where wrestling is a lot of promo based and over um, acting, and it might be sappy for a lot of people. The Daniel and Bryan speech might be sappy for a lot of people, but I believe it came from the heart. I believe this man loves wrestling with all his heart, and I, I liked the video. You know, it, it, it was a little sappy. I mean, some guys are more sappier than others, or whatever, uh, but I. I I, I thought it was really heartfelt speech. Um, I thought it. I thought it worked that he was in his home state of, uh, of, of Washington. Um, you know, I, I, I thought it worked. You, you know, I was really. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I guess I was surprised how many Seahawks fans. I guess I should, and you know, Seattle. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was a really solid speech. Um, I thought he. Uh, um, the explanation on why he wanted to retire because I mean he, he made it quite public that he wanted to wrestle even if it was outside of WWE he wanted to wrestle again and he was going to wrestle again because he got cleared by two other doctors three other doctors everybody except for the WWE doctor well they did another test and showed that his brain wasn't as good as they thought and I believe that and I believe uh, what he said he had too many concussions he had too many concussions and you know, right now, WWE has a very thin roster, and I believe Vince McMahon, you know, even though he never liked Daniel Bryan in the title reign and never liked all this uh, other stuff, you know, was resistant about uh, putting Daniel Bryan in the World Heavyweight title scenario to begin with and WrestleMania 30. There's no doubt about it that if he was ready to go and could do it, he would put him in there. But this one WWE doctor saying no, and I think they respect this guy, and I think this guy landed up being right. You know, um, he's had too many concussions, and I, I think Daniel Bryan just came to terms with it. He's came to terms with his retirement speech, and it was touching. You know, then Brie Bella coming out, and then the whole locker room coming out. I understand all of it. I understand all of it, and I thought it was a good run. Daniel Bryan it, it is a, a great wrestler, and he kind of is the pig poster boy of the indies. Um, today's rest average wrestler of what the fans want you know and I uh, be more uh, specific on that is I think the fans are tired of these big names that can't quite put on the matches like guys like like Ziggler, Daniel Bryan, now AJ Styles would fall on that. These type of real solid workers, you know, Owen Zane, you know, uh, Daniel Bryan came before all that, you know, he was like the poster boy at that time at WrestleMania 30. I mean, they wanted to do Randy Orton, Batista. They wanted Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan embodied you know, the wrestler. Not a character, not entertainment. He may not have the promo skilled. He may not have the look. He may not have what Vince McMahon wanted in a superstar. He may not have that it factor like Roman Reigns did. Or does, like Roman Reigns has that look. He has the look. He has what Vince McMahon calls the it factor. But... He was different. He was a wrestler. He was a guy that, you know, really captured the WWE's universe. So, uh, um, 
I thought they sent them off well. I thought they sent them off really well. Um, the after thing on the WWE Network was really good. Um, McMahon and everyone saying yes, the whole roster saying yes and sending them off. So that being said, going to make this video short and sweet. I thought it was good. Um, I just hope right now, I know we're in uh, WrestleMania season, Hall of Fame season. I'm hoping just because this is not fresh, they put him in the Hall of Fame right away. <laughs> um, obviously, yeah, I, I would put Daniel Bryan in the Hall of Fame. Not right now. Wait a couple years. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's going to be working with WWE for a while in a non-wrestling role. I would really put him in some sort of managerial role instead of the authority. Um, I think you could do a lot with Daniel Bryan. Um, I mean, he could be like a Mick Foley that keeps coming back and being like a GM type thing like they did in 2000. Um, I think Daniel Bryan could do a lot of things like that. But uh, don't put him in the Hall of Fame right away. I agree he deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I, th I think he does. I mean, he he was a big deal for at least a couple years, you know? And uh, um, I would definitely put him in there because, I mean, it's his life. Uh, he main evented WrestleMania 30. He actually saved that card compared to what Vince wanted to do. The Batista Orton thing wouldn't have worked that year. Um, so he did save that year's WrestleMania, no doubt about it. It. So, yeah, put him in. It's not his fault he can't wrestle anymore. Uh, he, he was one of the greatest in ring talents in that. In those years, he was wrestling. He was one of the best in the WWE in the locker room in an in-ring capacity. So, so, yeah. So, there's my video. Farewell to Daniel Bryan. And see you guys for the next video.